Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we're gonna solve another algebraic exponential equation. In this equation we have 3 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 9 and we're going to find the value of x. Now just to let you know we're gonna use two solutions to find the value of x and each solution is gonna give us the two possible solution for x. If you like you can pause this video and see if you can do this one by yourself. You can also check out my other math olympiad videos or my Lambert W functions videos to see how to solve math equations like these ones. Alright, so we start to solve our equation by bracketing both expressions and power the expressions by 1 over 9 times x. What this does is that it allows us to isolate x on one side of the equation. And now using the laws of indices that says that a to the power of m powered by n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So what this means is that we have 3 to the power of x over 9 times x is equal to 9 to the power of 9 times x. And so we bring our powers to the lowest term by cancelling x and x and 9 and 9. And so therefore we have 3 to the power of 1 over 9 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. I know from here I'll be using a special strategy where I power both of the expressions by 1. And then I can use an equivalent fraction of 1 which is 3 over 3 to multiply my expression where I have 3 to the power of 1 over 9. Since 3 over 3 is just an equivalent fraction of 1, it simply means that we are just multiplying our powers by just 1. Now from here we'll be looking at our laws of indices that we looked at earlier. So we then have 3 to the power of 1 over 9 times 3 over 3. This is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. We can rewrite this expression in this way. So we have 3 to the power of 3 times 1 is 3. So that's 3 over 9 times 3 which is 27 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. What we're doing is that we're not changing the value of the expression, but we're just multiplying by equivalent fractions. The idea is that we are looking for an expression where we have x in the base and also x in the denominator of the power. So since we also understand that the numerator is the power, we say 3 raised to the power of 3 in brackets powered by 1 over 27 equals x to the power of 1 over x. And so rewriting this, we have 27 to the power of 1 over 27 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. So here, as we say, we have x in the base and also x as the denominator in the index. We can see where we we arrive at a solution where we have 27 in the base and also in the denominator of the power. Therefore, it should be safe to say that x is equal to 27. Now, let us look at another solution of x. So again, we have 3 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 9. So previously, we saw that x is equal to 27. Now, we're going to look at the second solution of x using logarithm. So we start here by saying ln 3 to the power of x is equal to ln x to the power of 9. Now we can apply a simple logarithm rule here where we have ln x to the power of y is also equal to y times ln x. And so applying this rule we now have x ln 3 is equal to 9 ln x. Now like we did in the previous solution we can isolate x on one side of this equation by multiplying this equation by 1 over 9 times x. And so from here we have ln 3 over 9 since x here is being cancelled out by multiplying 1 over 9 times x. And this is equal to ln x over x as similarly the 9 is being cancelled out by multiplying by 1 over 9 times x. So in other words, we're canceling out the 9 and we're canceling out our x. And having it written as ln 3 over 9 is equal to ln x over x. Now this can be further rewritten using this law of indices where we have a to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over a. So then we can write x similarly as a to the power of negative 1. So we say ln 3 over 9 is equal to ln x times x to the power of negative 1. If you like this video so far, you can smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my newest updates. Since we have this expression, I would like to introduce a special kind of function called the Lambert W function. And this is a very special kind of function that can be applied here where we have two occurrence of a variable. 
Now the Lambert W function comes in the form where we have an expression such as a times e to the power of a where if we apply a w function to this expression the result is a. Now here where we have loon x this would represent a and for e we need to convert x to the power of negative 1 in the form of e. Now to convert any number in the form of e we can do this. So we say that x to the power of negative 1 is equal to e to the power of loon x to the power of negative 1. So in other words, in our equation, we can rewrite x to the power of negative 1 in the form of e by having this, e to the power of ln x to the power of negative 1. So we can go ahead and put that in. So we have ln 3 over 9 is equal to ln x times e to the power of ln x to the power of negative 1. So for our Lambert W function to work, we need to find the expression a times e to the power of a. We can see that we have loon x in the base and also in the power, but the x in the power is being raised to the power of negative 1. Now applying this logarithm rule, we can address our problem. So the rule tells us that we can have this negative 1 right here where we are multiplying it by loon x. Now doing this, it means that we need this negative 1 right here in front of the base loon x. Now this becomes possible if we multiply our equation by negative 1. Doing this means that we're going to have negative ln 3 over 9 is equal to negative ln x which is in the base times e to the power of negative ln x. And so from here we can see clearly that we have a in the base and also in the power we have another a and in the middle we have e. This therefore means that we can apply our w function to this expression. So we apply this w function to both sides of this equation. So we have w of negative ln 3 over 9 is equal to w of negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x. So now applying this w function to this expression a times e to the power of a, it means that we are going to get a. So this means that we will have w of negative ln 3 over 9 is equal to the value of a which is negative ln x. And from here we find the value of w of negative ln 3 over 9 using world from alpha. We can see that our decimal approximation to 4 decimal places is negative 0.1405. Now please remember if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more math videos like these ones. Now our value of w of negative ln 3 over 9 to 4 decimal places is negative 0.1405. Now we continue to solve x by having this equal to negative ln x and we divide both sides of this equation by negative 1 to remove the negatives. And so removing the negatives, we now have 0.1405 is equal to ln x. And now in solving x, we do the inverse function of ln, which is having x being equal to e to the power of 0.1405. Now let us see if we can plug this into our scientific calculator using world from alpha again. So we have e to the power of 0.1405 to 5 decimal places is equal to 1.15085. So there we have it. Our second solution for x is that x is equal to 1.15085. Thanks again for staying tuned to the end of this video. I hope that this was very informative. Please remember to smash that like button, share and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to my latest math videos. Until then, I'll see you again soon. Thanks again and take care.